Hello, this is Agif or Matt here. Um, I'm going to make this video uh, since I've had loads of questions about how I play this spec. Um, why is my character looking so funny? Oh, there we go. Uh, so, both of Whispers on the WoW and also my YouTube video on Opulence, I got a lot of questions about how I play with the roles, what talents I use, what as right trades up best and what I have to stack as a as stat wise. So I'm gonna just take a zip. First we'll go through I guess talents is a really easy one. So uh <coughs> these are what I'm using right now. But I can I'll go through every one of them since it's like very easy uh for me. Why is my character looking so funny? Oh, wait a minute, I know now. Is it better now? Yeah, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> since it's uh, very, very easy to fuck up. If, I would say, we'll take these first. Uh, fuck, you can't see my mouse. Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll just make a circle around them. Um, We'll start with this one, Weapon Master. Uh, this is good if you are not used to play Outlaw before. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, this one is pretty easy. Um, Sinister Strike has a ch has a 10% increased chance to strike an additional time. So this is that spell. Uh, pretty simple. Um, so that is the easiest one you could pick. Um, and I would recommend if you're new, but then if you're a bit better, I would definitely pick uh, uh, Quick Draw, which is, I'm just gonna read it out loud. Half cost uh, uses of pistol shot granted by Sinister Strike now generate one additional combo point and deal 50% increased damage. Now, why is that so good? Because once you hit and you hit a double strike with this one, the Sinister Strike you have, you'll get a free or like your pistol shot will start shining and uh, well then you get two combo points instead of one and it does additional damage so it's really really good and then at last ghostly strikes um, or strike I'm sorry this one was really really good in Legion but I would not recommend you guys using it at all because it has such a long cooldown and it's only for like 10 seconds so I don't really recommend you using this one, but it's really good. Like for single target damage, like 10% increased damage from your abilities for 10 seconds. That's insane. Okay, yeah. Next one. This is like pretty much up to you what fight or what thing you use to play. Uh, PvP. This one is really really good. Or this one, I wouldn't recommend this one for PvP, but like because it's like takes. 30 seconds off your cooldown, so it's really, really good to use this one. Um, hit a run, also fine, I guess, but I usually use, I don't know why it's set to this, I think it's because I'm doing dungeon, but I use uh, acrobatic strikes because it helps you so much with uh, your blade fury, which is this spell over here, which is like the best one right now. Uh, the like That's your only AoE ability, so it's really important. Um, so. This one is really good. It increases the range of all your melee attacks by three yards. That's insane. Like you can even on the shock boss and freehold when he does the shock nato thing, you can stand and still hit him without taking damage. It's really really good. Uh, this one, well, these are all really good, and uh, I have seen some using deeper stratagem. Excuse me. Um. And it, this can work if you have a lot of haste, because you will obviously need a lot of energy regeneration without Viger. So, but I recommend Viger because this is just like, yeah, it's the best one. You can also play with Mark for Death, um, but then it's like something. Uh, then you need to do something completely else in uh, in terms of like rolling and like. Uh, and I don't really do that. I did that in uh, Legion, but. This one is, I found this one as the better one, and you don't really need this one. 
you really need the energy regeneration. But this one can work. I'm just saying. But yeah, Viger. Uh, this gives you six combo points. So you do at least like your damaging spells do five percent more damage, or your finishing move. Sorry. Uh, so uh, it can be good. It was really good in Legion. Um, this one I wouldn't take at all. It does. So this one heals you more. Let's see how much it heals me right now. Ten k in. Yeah. Yeah, it heals me a lot, so I don't really need that one. Um, cheat death, yeah, always use this one for rates, I would say. Uh, that's at least my choice. Uh, I'm not here to control what you guys, I'm only giving you my opinions. Um, so cheat death, and then elusiveness I'm doing for PvP, because faint. This one. Uh, area of effect attacks reduced by 40%, but this one does so not... Not only do you take less damage from area effect, but you also take uh, reduced damage from all attacks. So it's really, really good in uh, PvP. Uh, well, this one is like up to yourself. Um, this one does to your cheap shot, gouge, sap, no longer cost energy. Uh, this one increases or uh, reduces the cooldown of line by 30 seconds, but also increases the range. I'm using this for method class mostly. And then Prey and the Weak is also really, really good. Uh, I'm using that mostly in PvP. Um, so, but yeah, you could you could go between all of these three. I think these are really, really good. Okay, level 90. Uh, loaded dice. Never have I tried this one. Um, because it almost leaves you with no choice here. Because you have Alacrity and it gives you so much haste. And you need that for your that's like your bread and butter. These two are just like your bread and butter, Viger and uh, and uh, Alacrity. So, yeah, I wouldn't even recommend uh, trying loaded dice. I mean, I don't know. I I don't like it. I mean, activating adrenaline rush causes your next roll of the bones to grant at least two matches. That's just imagine if those matches are just shit, and you're low on fucking haste because you can't, you know. I'm sorry for the swearing here. Shouldn't swear. Um, no, that not that one. Slice and dice can work, but I think it's too risky to do because you will like you will lack so much damage because of the roll the bones. Because if you get those buffs, you are destroying the meter. Um, so I would really just recommend you going alacrity. Um, now this one, these are all okay, um, so I'm using Dancing Steel, increases the duration of Blade Flurry by 3 seconds and it's damaged by 5. So Blade Flurry, uh, I have it now for 14 seconds and the cooldown right now is 11 seconds. So I can keep, ha I can keep having it on, that's the thing why I want to use it. Uh, it's really good for Mythic Plus on Reaping. It's really, really good on bosses like Jade Fire Masters uh, because they always stand close to each other. Uh, so, and these ones, I just a bit like this one is instant and this one is also instant, but like it's um, there's too much like cooldown between, so like you lag a little bit. At least on AOE fights, I would say. Blade Rush is really really good on a single target fight where you only hit one because then dancing still ain't really working <laughs> like so but all these are really really good um, yeah I would recommend when you do you do this for AOE fights like dancing steel so opulence jade fire masters um, I'm really bad at bosses' names, so that's how that is. Let's see the dungeon journal because I'm so shit at remembering names. Not wrong. Conclave, no, because they have to be tanked away from each other. King Rastakan, yes, you can use Dancing Steel if you are in. You're not in the spirit ro uh, realm. If you are, use Blade Rush. Hi, Tinker. Blade Rush, 100%. Uh, Stormwall, also Blade Rush. Lady, Jaina Proudmoore, Blade Rush. 
unless you are doing like a sick tactic where you have to free a lot of people, then dancing still is good. But yeah, single taco fights, I would more say this one. And uh, killing spree, let me, I haven't really talked about that whatsoever. I'm sorry for drinking, I'm just really thirsty. <laughs> uh, because it can screw you up so easily. Uh, so that's why I've tried not to really use it. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like Blade uh, Killing Spree is high risk, high reward. Um, I, it's really good for AoE if you have your Blade Fury up. But if you don't, it's really it's not, it's okay, I would say. But it's not good because the cooldown is two minutes. I feel like it's a bit too long. I won't really go over like deeply over all these, but this is what I'm using mostly. Or this one. And then, oh, sorry. Changing like this. This is my usual setup. Um, how I play. So, um, yeah. Okay. We'll go over, let's say, stats. Um, right now, I am using... I am stacking versatility. Uh, you can see here, my crit is fairly high. Uh, that one, I actually want a bit down so I can get more haste. My haste is a bit low. But it's okay when I get the alacrity. And I have the quick navigation on my weapon. Uh, I'll also talk about that. Yeah, um, mastery don't really. So I stack versatility, and reason why because there's actually some good trinket or good items in Battle for Dasar Law that makes you able to stack basically. And then I have a bit of leech, but that's because I have some. Yeah, I have some pieces that gives that. Um, so yeah, I have enchanted, let's see, where I have um, gemmed versatility, um, then I have again versatility, and on both my rings I have versatility. So yeah, that's like what I usually use. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's really simple. Haste versatility, that's, that's what you want to stack. It's gonna go a bit away, it's just because I have to show. Um, yeah, then we can talk about Azerite traits. I'm gonna just open up my bags. Uh, they're a bit messy, I'm sorry. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Um, you really want that shot on all of your, um, of your uh, traits, if you can. That is the best, uh, single target spell and AoE target wise spell for like it just just the best best um, spell you can get let me say it like that um, so that shot and then obviously the second one you really want something else like you don't want this one but yeah you have to take some and then yeah you can't get everything that's what I'm trying to say uh, but yeah you really want to stat that, sh that shot Sorry, I can't talk. And then this one, also overwhelming power because it gives you haste. Uh, that's really, really important for you. You want haste. Um, so this is the one I bought from, I bought a random one from the currency. This one, uh, so. <coughs> really good. And then that shot again. I have Paradise Lost again. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> it's really not that good but yeah that's how it is you can't really get all of them then I have this one because this is the second best you can get compared to overwhelming power and it wasn't there to get uh, to choose so I had to go with that and um, and here I have that shot again so I have that shot on three and then ace off the sleeve what I suggest what I want is that this one and this one. You can get a headpiece that drops that. Uh, like half dead shot and ace up the sleeve. That one you want. Uh, because two, or I mean three dead shots and two ace up the sleeves 
on single target. It's really, really good. <laughs> so, oh my god, they're so noisy, those uh, sword fighters here. Uh, so, yeah. I don't really... I'm really sorry if I'm not going a lot into depth with it, because I, I simply just... I don't really look for it, but this is how I at least think it's good. Um, then for AOE, I have I don't really have that many pieces yet, but you want this one. The keep your wits about you. Uh, this is the only AOE one you have, and then well, I chose the second best, so I ace off to sleep on that one, and then I got, got stripper because I couldn't choose anything better. So this one is better than the other ones, and yeah. And then again. Oh, nice. I didn't even see that. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, I have the Blade Fury shoulders again. Uh, this is AoE. And here I have the Overwhelming Power. So it's really good. Like, So this is the AoE one you want. But this is only for like some fights. You don't need it at all. So maybe you can swap one piece out um, with... A dead shot one, not all of them, but maybe one piece, and then have the the dancing steel talent. Um, yeah, like is that it? <coughs> then I ha also have these, but I've simmed it. Uh, this is the first helm that you actually want that from the first boss on Mythic. This is better than this one because snake eyes is a bit better than paradise lost so you really want this piece on mythic if you can get it um, so yeah look out for that one um, or you can be lucky to buy one from the titan residium and get the best one but i would say go for mythic if you can um, yeah here i have this piece again but it's simply too low item level so and i forgot it uh, i have a Blade Fury one, and here I could actually choose that shot, but I already have it here, so it's like I just chose to have the AOE one here. So I'll s when I once I go towards um, AOE fights, I'll just equip this one um, and lose one dead shot, but also have it in these two, um, you know. So it's like it's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's my ass right traits. Trinkets. Now, you've probably heard that a lot. Um, your trinkets. <laughs> I'll just go towards the dungeon so you can see which ones I mean. You want... You want... This trinket in high as ever possible. This one is your best trinket for all single target fights. You want that one really bad <laughs> um, well just in general you want this one this one so with the dice from freehold and siege of Morales, you want this one so you want to crit trinket from uh, siege of Morales, and you want the dice from freehold I've done 20 free holes. I still haven't gotten the dice. So there is luck for you guys. Maybe I don't know. The RNG is really bad for me right now. Um, so yeah, that's like <laughs> that are yours. I can show you my trinkets. I have loads. Um, I'm using this one right now. Four slots, razor leaf. Your attacks have a chance to grant you 527 critical strike for 16 seconds, and that one drops from. The world boss in Dark Shore. I was just lucky he got Titan Force. That's why it's so good right now. And then I'm using Kimball's Razor Claw, which drops from Conclave of the Chosen. Your damaging attacks have a chance to claw your target, causing them to bleed for 4,158 physical damage over 6 seconds. Clawing the target from behind will lead 50% of the damage done. Uh, so this one is a really good AoE damage trinket if you have Blade Fury on because then you hit everyone I with the leech uh, so you, you can't die basically um, then oh he has it yeah I do have it but it's a downgrade on damage but yeah I have it in 385 it's okay but it's not I'm really happy I got that one I can 
work with that. Um, so, yeah, it's it's fine. Then I have the Cannonball one. Really not choose that one. And I have the Tiny Electromental in Jar. This one is actually okay. But, yeah, I would just, as I said, recommend the Freehold one and the one from Siege of Buralos. And, yeah, I have these. But, yeah, then I have this one. Variable Intensity Gigavolt os Oscillating Reactor. That's a really long name. So this one is a really, really hard trinket to master because I can just put it on. You get a buff and it keeps going up. Um, and let's say you're pulling and it's about to degrade again. So here you have max crit. You want to press that it so you can have it longer. So now it's downgraded. So let's say you're pulling and it's about to downgrade. Really bad timing and you can't get the burst off of it. So it's a really swinging trinket. It's okay, but it's not something I would recommend. So I'm using these two. These are my best. Um, then I have these swords, like, or an axe. So I'm I was pretty lucky with weapons, but not trinkets. So I, I can't complain. Okay, now to the plane, because this is, I guess, the most important one. Um, so, how I deal with my roll of the bones. What is my logic behind this? Um, well, let us start. I'm going to just use my cooldowns real quick, and then I'll explain how I do. Uh, yeah, let's do it like that. So, I'll proc Adrenaline Rush, get these five stacks, roll the bones, and then we just hit those. See, right now I got the worst buff attack speed. So I reroll. You always want to reroll attack speed. That's my at least. Now I have energy. That's fine. I'll just keep with this because if I keep rolling I can lose a lot of damage and I don't want to do that while adrenaline rush is up. So yeah. I'm just going to keep hitting. Boom. Boom. Um, and then reroll now. Oh, I got crit buff. Really good. So it's like that was ace up the sleeve that came to work here. Um, also, you can see now I don't really have to get the double strike there. I got it. Always, always. I'm gonna just make it done. Because, like I'm, I'll just explain. But yeah. Um, so here, if I have this, I'll I'll let it go almost till it's done. Like crit is the best one you can get. I don't care if you only have one. Always use the crit one. Uh, so yeah, it's just like re-rolling this one. I actually like that one a lot because you always double strike when you have this one. Really, really good. Um, but yeah, that is like my logic, I guess. Uh, so while adrenaline rushes up, I'll just use it now. Don't bother re-rolling too much because you'll lose so much damage. Try and re-roll if you have really shit. Re uh, rolls while it's on cooldown. See, now I did, and I fucking regret it. You see what I mean? Um. Um. Yeah. So, also, just gonna go off combat here. I see a lot of people who Let's just get a double strike. Here. Let's see what. Okay. I'll just get it. See, now I have four, four combo points. Then I'm allowed to use this job. Let's say I get. Let's see. I'll just have five. See, now I have five. Don't use the pistol shot now. Use it. Boom. Finish with your five combo points. Then use pistol shot. You get almost like almost four combo points off of that. Boom. And then pistol shot. Don't use it when you have five combo points. It's such a waste in damage. You know what I mean? So now, boom. And then you always, oh I see myself fucking up on that all the time, but please try to remember, because it actually matters a lot. See, I have five combo points, now I'm using it. All the time. Um, so that's my reroll logic. So, I'm gonna go through all the little things again. And I hope this was okay, I guess. It's the first time I've ever done a guide, so bear with me. Um... You can always ask in the comments, or if you have any questions, I would love to answer. I love answering questions as well as I can. Um, I might have a language barrier between some of the words, but I'll try my best. Um, so yeah, I'll go through it again. 
talents. These ones. Boom, boom, boom. This one, the depends. And this one for heavy AoE fights, where you know you have to hit them ahead two targets, no matter what. This one for single target, yeah. This one you decide yourself. Uh, yeah. Stats. Haste, versatility. Stack those. To Oblivion. Trinkets. The one from Freehold, the one from Siege of Boralus. Azerite traits. Deadshot. Between the eyes. Keep your wits. What is it called again? Keep your... Keep your wits about you. God damn these fucking names. <laughs> uh, I'll also make some points so you can see in the description. You can also always check out my red eye or like anything. I'm not like a professional or anything like that. I'm just telling you how I'm playing the spec and it works fine for me. So again, I'll just show you. Get these. I actually fucked up there, but like I'm a there. This one is not bad. I, I don't see why people hate that so much. Look at my adrenaline rush. It's almost like every time I finish, it takes a tad off the adrenaline rush. You see what I mean? So I don't think this is bad why you have adrenaline rush going. You have to remember, Outlaw is not a consistent or a burst spec. It's a consistent damage spec. That's all that it is. Boom. Roll the bones. I got it again. Okay. I'll just tell you, actually, I forgot that. I forget, I'll tell you what rolls I like the most. Uh, this one is not bad because you. I can't get a double strike off right now, but when I can, I'll explain. Wow, I haven't done it once yet. But see, I almost have uh, my cooldown off again. And that was for two rolls. I got my cooldowns off again. Boom. Roll once. Okay, I got this one. Really good because this is guarantees a double strike all the time. Almost all the time. Not all the time. You see, there it didn't proc. But most of the time. I love that boss. I think it's fine while you have adrenaline rush up. Uh, boom. Use the pistol shot. Still have it. Let's try and reroll because adrenaline rush is on cooldown. Boom. I just got a sick buff. This is consistent DPS. Because now I got some good buffs, so now I go up on the meter. Boom! Look at that crit. Okay, not that big, but like, yeah. Then, and then keep this up like that. So, the buffs, I want to point out that are really, really bad. And if you get them solo, even though you have adrenaline rush on, is the attack speed one. Get rid of that one, no matter what. It's not good alone. Like... You hit so quickly anyway with your adrenaline rush active. So you don't need the extra attack speed. What the? Uh, boom. What? Boom. There we go. Um, uh, yeah. So. That's the thing. But yeah, I'll bring them up. Uh, the what roles. Uh, what roles I want. Uh, as of like which ones are really bad or really good so the one I was praising was true bearing that is the cooldown finishing moves reduces the remaining cooldown of many of your abilities by an additional one sec per po combo point five seconds every time you finish your uh, finishing move with five combo points that's actually not that bad it's really good um Ruthless, I'm sorry, yeah. Skull and crossbows causes Sinister Strike to have an additional 30% chance of striking an additional time for the duration of Roll the Bones. So that means you get a pistol shot that also gets you two combo points. Really good. <coughs> Ruthless position. Critical, increase the critical strike chance of between the eyes by 60% and the critical strike chance of the all other abilities by 20% for the duration of roll the bones so really really good to use uh, five combo points on the between the eyes while you do that that's really really good grand melee that that is the one I don't want to have alone at all get rid of that one 
increases your attack speed by 55 and your leech by 25% for the duration of roll the bones. I mean, it's okay. But I would say, when you have Adrenaline Rush, that's the only one I want to get away from. Screw this one. Buried Treasure. Your base energy regeneration is increased by 4 per second for the duration of Roll the Bones. Really good also to just have alone as like a re energy regeneration thing. I, I, I would keep that. And Broadside. Your combo generating abilities generates one additional combo point and deal 20% increased damage. Insanely good. So let's see you have a combo point or like when you hit twice you get full combo points because you already get uh three for hitting uh so you'll get a five additionally if you hit twice with the sinister strike. So that's really 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 good. Um so yeah. Uh that is my tutorial or like how I play Outlaw. I'm sorry if that wasn't the way you guys might thought I play it, but like that's how I play this pack. I play it like a, I guess a really consistent one, so I don't really get mad if I'm not topping the meters at start. But at the end, I, well, it depends obviously on the rolls. That's like all the time. The rolls are so dependent on your DPS. So don't get mad if you're not on top of the meter all the time. Don't get mad about that. Um, but yeah, I think that was it. So I would say thank you for watching. Um, it has been a pleasure and I'm thankful if you were watching until now. That was lovely to try and make a guide for our lore. <laughs> I don't know if it's all just me, but yeah, that's how I play it. And uh, yeah, I wish you guys a very pleasant day or evening or night, wherever you're from doesn't matter <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video peace